What is going on today, YouTube? Today, I'm going to successfully show you how to strap a canoe to the roof of a truck. There are some stupid ways to do it, like this. Yeah, don't look, just don't do it like that. Please don't do it like that. All right, so what you're gonna want is a blanket. couple of pool noodles. Get her up. So what I'd like to do here Sometimes that doesn't happen. You get it perfectly in the center. Pull her up. Okay, pull out your window. Sit it on there. Now hold on. While you're climbing off the truck. Pick it up. Slide her forward. Shot your tailgate. You may be closing the tailgate, but the idea is that it sits on the pool noodles. a little bit. Get it slid forward. Center it up. And from there, obviously, you strap it down. Now I'm a bit particular, so I've got the one orange strap that I like to use in the front. And then these old trucks have these big push bar on the bottom. Safety splash shield. And I just crank around to that. Obviously, don't, you can't crank it down just yet. So, for the rear, much the same. But I don't have that big bar to put it on. Crank that down. So it's already not going anywhere because you can't ever tighten down a ratchet strap without saying that's not going anywhere bud, but it's not over yet. In my mind it's not complete until there's one more over the center. You guys want to go? Uh, John's taking a nap. We got another canoe? You go wake him up. We have another canoe. Just going off in the window. Another canoe? What's that? Gotta get my walk. It was good. Alright. Branch it that down.
Now, the whole truck should move. There's no way this thing is going anywhere. Absolutely no way. You can never have too many straps either. If you if you got extras, no reason you can't throw them on. Alright, so throw in your paddle. I've got uh, toss and save. It also gives you the uh, a bunch of rope if you need it. And some life jackets. And there you go everybody. Stay tuned for the next video whenever I take this thing off and get it in the water. Mm -hmm.